Hi, my name is Joshua Nuez and I'm from Whitworth University. I'm Chelsea Boltus from Boise State University. This video is brought to you by the 2015 Amalthea RAU program, funded by the National Science Foundation at Florida Institute of Technology. Our research project is about aerial Geiger mode LiDAR feature extraction for scene classification. LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, is a remote sensing method utilizing light in a form of pulse laser in order to measure variable distances to the Earth's surface. For our research, we work with Geiger mode LiDAR data. Geiger mode LiDAR systems observes the returns of individual photons, making the data high definition and very noisy. Our goal is to find features that describe high-level target objects effectively that will enable a machine to automatically classify points as houses, vegetation, and bare earth. Potential applications for automated feature extraction include forestry analytics, city mapping, and transmission line monitoring. Our experimental method has three main steps. First step is clustering, then smart neighborhood selection, and finally extracting features of resulting clusters. In the clustering step, we took raw point cloud data, which is represented by the red data points, and group it using a clustering algorithm such as Gaussian Mixture Model Expectation Maximization, Affinity Propagation, or K-means. In this step, we want the clusters to define the target object as much as possible. The neighborhood selection step is where we differentiate good from bad clusters. The pink cluster in the image is a bad cluster because it represents more than one object. When we run the clusters through neighborhood selection, we expect to see the pink points to be removed from the collection of clusters. After neighborhood selection, we extract features from the good clusters. These features act as unique identifiers for points to be utilized in classification. We extracted features that describe the geometric shape of the cluster, finds the statistics of the distances between the data in the cluster, and differentiates a point from its respective cluster. We tested three different clustering algorithms and got the following results. Gaussian Mixture Model's expectation maximization created larger noise clusters than the other two algorithms. Therefore, this method should be used when performing binary classification on noise. However, it should not be used when classifying rooftops because the roof clusters are inconsistent in size and shape. K-means and Affinity Propagation did a great job of making similar sized clusters for various target objects. The only problem is that these clusters are too small for ideal feature extraction. A potential solution to this problem is to implement a cluster merging technique that will group some of the smaller clusters together. The process of clustering, smart neighborhood selection, and extracting features better enables the machine to classify points generated by Geiger mode LiDAR. Classified LiDAR points has a range of applications and our research seeks to provide a foundation for its success.